Good evening and welcome once again to A Closer Look. I'm Belva Davis. Well, the bodies of at least 409 men, women, and children, some shot to death, most apparently self-poisoned, have been found at the Guyana Jungle Camp of People's Temple. Among the bodies were those of the temple's fanatical founder, the Reverend Jim Jones, his wife, and at least one of their children. All the dead were believed to be Americans, many of them from the Bay Area. Most had reportedly stood in line to take doses of cyanide-laced Kool-Aid from a large tub. Here in San Francisco, the mood at the People's Temple has been one of apprehension and waiting. The temple members are waiting inside on a large press group outside. For the last two days, the People's Temple on O'Farrell Street in San Francisco here has been, like the Patty Hearst story, a media event. The crush of reporters international, national, and local, has been met with virtual silence from the some 25 temple members left at the temple headquarters here. You know, there are families, there are loved ones, and I mean, how do you explain grief? <laughs> you know, we feel, I mean, we're not monsters. I mean, the, the, we, <clears throat> a lot of us feel that we've been depicted as monsters, and, uh, you know, we feel very deeply the terrible, terrible tragedy of what's happened. My wife is here, and I assume she's dead. I have no way of knowing any otherwise. We hear today that more people have died, or we've found more bodies, whatever. I don't think my life's ever going to be the same after this. I really don't. That won't change, that won't change my devotion and commitment to serving humanity and trying to help bring about a better world. I've been a member of People's Temple for 27 years. And I give my life you know, to this commitment. I have no reason or anything, any reason to turn back. I don't intend to. Are they, are they disgusted with Jim Jones right now, what he did, the people inside the headquarters here? The people here inside of the headquarters did not know what had happened until I related to them what I've been relating to you. And they're in a state of shock, and they don't know what to say and what to think. You understand that these men and women here have been dedicated, and they've been dedicated to the cause of socialism, to a better way of life, and this comes to them as a complete shock and a surprise. Jim Jones was completely insane, and for just prior to a visit by Congressman Leo Ryan, if I would have made a drastic stand against People's Temple, I felt that what actually happened on the 18th of November might have been precipitated at an earlier time. He was a complete maniac, and to feel undue pressure at that time, I thought would be immoral on my part. I, I, I wouldn't over-exaggerate his political influence. Simply say that he was a he was a person that most public officials uh, uh, made it a point to, to visit and talk to, and uh, I'm sure all of them found him to be the kind of man I did at that time. Again, what has happened between then and now is only God knows. The State Department hasn't released any information on the People's Temple dead, but one official in Washington told me today that perhaps as many as 200 of those dead are children between the ages of 5 and 18. And like many of the adults, quite a few of them were from the San Francisco area. I'm just saddened by the loss of Jonestown, really. but I feel no bitterness, you know over what Jim had to do. In my opinion, I felt he had to do that. That was the best choice he could have made at that time. I, I know that it is a belief that I have. You know, I, I would have died and would have fought <laughs> long and hard for, for uh, what we had in Jonestown. And I know there were many, many of my brothers and sisters who felt the same way.